What's up everybody, Ryan Havy with Havy Digital here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly swap out footage, audio, and photos in your projects with just a few clicks of a mouse, kind of like that. But first, let's run that intro. Welcome back. So imagine this scenario, let's say you're working on a project for a client that will require you to possibly use some stock audio, video, and photos within the project. Now when I say stock, I'm referring to content that has to be licensed through websites like iStock or the Envato market, for example. Now most of the time when I'm working on projects similar to this, I won't be provided with this licensed content up front from the client. Typically what I will do is I'll go to some of these stock websites, I'll find the photos and the video and the audio that I like and I'll download samples. A lot of these websites will allow you to download samples of these things which will have watermarks over them. And I'll use this sample content, I'll edit it together in my project. Once I get it the way that I want it, I'll export it out, I'll send it over to the client for review. And once the project has been approved by the client using this sample footage, that content can then be licensed, downloaded, and then swapped out in the project itself. Now assuming that the watermarked content that I get from these stock sites is the same size and dimension and length as the non-watermarked content once it's been licensed and downloaded, which it usually is. Swapping the watermarked content out with the non-watermarked content can be usually done with just a matter of a few clicks as opposed to having to import the non-watermarked footage uh, into your project, putting in the sequence and kind of basically re-editing the video with the non-watermarked footage. Now there are two methods that I'm going to show you that will allow you to do this very quickly. And to illustrate this, I'm going to be using some kind of fake watermarked footage that I've put together myself, but it'll get the point across. So I'm gonna be using this video, this photo, and this audio track. Audio watermark. And with that, let's get into Premiere. So here we are in Premiere, and what I've done is I've created a little sequence using that watermarked footage that I just showed you. Let's play it back real quick just so you can see what it looks like. Audio watermark. So I've done a little bit of time remapping, a couple cuts here and there, a little bit of crossfading, a little bit of B-roll, and then the clip is gonna end here with just a photo slightly zooming in of the Audio Pentax watermark. camera itself. But the problem here is that everything in this sequence is watermarked and the client likes it, but I can't exactly export it like this and send it out into the world. We need to get rid of these watermarks. So as mentioned, there are two methods to achieving this. The first method is replacing clips from the source monitor. I actually featured this tip in a previous tutorial I did titled five video editing shortcuts for faster workflow. Click the link above to check that out. Now this tip works best for images or for footage and audio that is being used in its entirety. In other words, if you have a clip that you've cut a couple times, maybe moved around or done some time remapping, it's not gonna work so well for that, but it will work great for images. And as you can see at the end here, we do have an image and this can be easily swapped out using this method. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So if I go to my project panel here and I go to my photos bin, I've got the watermark version, which is what you see here, but I've also got a non watermark version, which is if I open it up in the source monitor, you'll see it's the same exact image. It just doesn't have the watermark. Now the important thing to note here is that these two images, the files themselves, are the same dimensions in pixels. Otherwise, if one is smaller than the other, when you try to swap it out using this method, it's not gonna be the same size in the video. So now all you need to do to swap out the watermarked image with the non-watermarked image is go into your timeline, right click on the image clip itself, go up to, where is it here? Replace with clip from source monitor and watch what happens. Boom, you notice the watermark is gone. So the photo was taken care of and that's great, but we still have this B-roll and this audio clip underneath to swap out. And because I've done a lot of cuts here, you can see even the audio, I did a little cut and a little cross, cross fade of that audio there. I've done some cuts and some time remapping of the B-roll. Uh, we can't exactly use the same technique to swap out that footage. So to do that, we're going to use the replace footage feature. And instead of doing that in the timeline, you're actually gonna go over to your project panel here. Let's say we're gonna do the B-roll first. What I wanna do is I wanna go find the B-roll clip. Now, this was all cut from one long B-roll clip, and that's, that's important in this case. If you have multiple B-roll clips, you're gonna to need to replace each of them individually. In this case, it's one long B-roll clip that I kinda of cut and moved around and time remapped, all sorts of stuff. So all I need to do to swap the watermarked B-roll out with the non-watermarked B-roll is go over to my project panel here, click on the watermarked uh, B-roll, right click on it, go up to, where is it, replace footage right here. It's gonna open the file explorer. Now you can see uh, I've got the watermark clip here 
and this Pentax clip, this is the non-watermarked version of that clip. And that's what I wanna replace it with. So I've selected that, I hit select, now watch what happens. Boom, watermark gone. And all my effects, Audio all my crossfades, watermark. all my time remapping, everything is nice, Audio pretty, watermark. and watermark free. So we've replaced the B-roll, which is great, but we've still got the background music to take care of, and we can replace the background music with the non-watermark version of that music, the same exact way that we did the B-roll. So let's go into our project panel here. Here is the background music, the watermarked clip there. Right click on that, replace footage, Go over here, this is the file that I want to replace it with. Click select, and let's see what happens when we play it back here. No more annoying watermark. Now once again, it's important to remember that the watermarked footage should be exactly the same as the non-watermarked footage that you're using in your project, with the exception, obviously, of the watermark. That will ensure that when you replace the footage, everything will match up perfectly. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that will save you a little bit of time on some of your projects. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.